Hi, I'm Simon Jones. Thanks for watching this video in which I'm going to have a quick look at how you can use Canva to make quick covers for your stories. Now, I'm not suggesting this is a replacement for hiring a professional designer if you're trying to publish a novel or something, but if you want to create a graphic to go along with us with a smaller project, like maybe a short story you're putting up, this is a really good way to quickly create high quality visuals. You can see I've used it for blog headers, uh, party invites, and also this uh, cover for my short story, A Murder in Four Dimensions. So let's uh, create a new project and I'll show you just how quick and easy it is to make this kind of thing. So we're going to choose a book cover template. There's all sorts of things here. And the great thing about Canva is that it's all quite practical. So these are all things that you might actually want to make. It kind of is designed with uh, the kind of people who want to make quick high quality graphics in mind so you won't waste your time too much but we're going to go for the book cover and create a new project here now you can create something entirely from scratch using all these elements and creating different bits of text but i'm going to go the even easier way and actually start off with a template of some sort now there's loads and loads of templates here so what you go for will depend on the type of story and the kind of thing you're trying to make um, part of the problem is actually being able to pick what you want to go with so I'm going to keep scrolling here until I find something that fits the mood of the short story which is uh, it's a kind of noirish crime detective short story but with a, a kind of sci-fi twist so let me see if I can find something that fits the bill um, maybe we'll go for something like this one here so you can see that this actually looks like it kind of is designed for more of a romance but uh, we're going to customize this so that it looks better for a, a noirish sci-fi so first off i might as well put the title in so there we go you can see that based on the design it doesn't quite fit in so you can very easily just adjust it to suit whatever your particular title is uh, dimensions is a really long word which makes it quite tricky for this kind of thing um, but there we go up here I'm going to put in a little tagline so I'll go with one body four worlds and down here I shall put my name and again just need to adjust the width of that element a little bit so that it's got enough space okay one of the great things about Canva and all these templates is that the designers of the templates have already done the really hard bit which is figuring out the typography that's the element that when people do DIY covers, that's the thing that they get wrong. It's what makes an amateur book cover look like an amateur book cover. Uh, and it's what using a professional designer gets you. But the good thing is that when you're using Canva, you kind of get some of that design up front. You know, it's not going to be unique. You are basing, basing it off templates, but you can go in and customize this quite a lot. Now, the main thing I need to do is change this background image. And you can upload your own images to use here. I'm going to use this image, which came off unsplash.com which is a free library of stock images, all of which are copyright free. I'm going to drag it on here and you can see that it replaces the image that was in that element of the design. I'm pretty happy with this. It looks like a kind of retro, maybe 1950s, noirish murder mystery. It has a spooky look. It's kind of got this desaturated, slightly washed out feel. I don't need to do any of this. This is kind of what I get for free from the template, but it looks like it's been designed. Now, like I say, this, isn't, this is not a replacement for hiring a designer and getting someone to create something custom for you. And if you're working on a big project that you've put loads and loads of time into and you're going to try and sell it or something, then that's what you want to do. But for smaller projects, which maybe don't justify that kind of outlay, what you can do with Canva is create something that still gives it that little bit of extra professional presentation. Okay, I hope this was useful. And... Uh, if you want to know more of this kind of stuff, head over to my blog at simonkjones.com. Thanks for watching.